In this video, we're going to take a look at annotation sets. In combination with defaults, annotation sets, and layer sets, you can use these tools to be extremely productive using Chief Architect. If you're not using these tools, you're working much harder than you need to be. Let's go through and take a look at some of the examples of how you can apply this in your daily work routine. First, let's take a look at defaults. Defaults control the way an object initially behaves. When you draw four walls and you create a room, the defaults for that room make up what the room height is, what the flooring materials are, what the baseboard is, and when you place your cabinets, those defaults come in with defaults that may be set in your profile plan. The same is true when you place your windows or your doors. When you place those initial objects, that information is set as a default. Now you may think of your defaults applying to these objects, they can also apply to your tools. In this wall elevation, let's assume that I use my dimension tool and come through and just create a set of dimensions for our cabinets. If this has ever happened to you and it looks unreadable and it's bad, that's because your default isn't set up correctly. Let me go ahead and undo that and let's take a look at what we have in our dimension defaults. If I simply double click on my dimension defaults, notice that in the information I'm using feet and inches. I'm using locate information for the particular objects it's picking up. And then the textile is using information from this quarter inch scale. These are all derived off of my dimension default up in my title bar here called quarter inch scale dimension defaults. And they're very applicable for certain scenes, maybe not this kitchen wall scene. Let me change that default dimension to one that will work a little better. Let's go into the default settings choose the active defaults and I'm going to change my dimension default to something that's going to work much better. I have a default set up specifically for cabinet elevations and now when I select the ruler tool again and go through the cabinets you'll notice that it's only picking up the cabinet boxes. It's also not dimensioning to certain things like the window casing and it's in displayed in inches. So it's controlled through the default setting for those dimensions. Now you notice when I went into those active defaults, there's a number of them being displayed. This is the same setting that you can control for annotation sets. So when you open up your defaults for annotation sets, you'll notice that you get the same settings. So you can actually control settings for all of these items directly through your annotation sets. So rather than going through each individual default for dimensions, rich text, etc., you can control it through a global setting for an annotation set. Setting up those defaults is very important to being productive. Let's take a look at one more example. If I highlight this room and I use the tool to automatically dimension with the NKBA dimension, zoom out a little bit, it looks like information that might be better suited for a framing plan. And the numbers are gigantic, right? Typically you might want your scale for kitchen and bath at half inch. This is actually using quarter inch information. Let's go ahead and undo that and let's change the annotation set to the kitchen and bath NKBA general annotation. Select the room, select the same tool, and you see that it's much more readable and legible and applicable for kitchen and bath. So you know that in your defaults, let's take a look, these active defaults are all things that you can change and set up. So rather than changing each one for your textile, your call out information, your markers, your arrows, and etc., you can globally change these. This dialog looks very similar if you go into your annotation sets and you can copy these. Now the great thing about annotation sets is you can create a copy of one you like and make adjustments. You notice in here are dimensions are being controlled and I have a dimension set called NKBA dimensions. And if you go in and edit that, this is where you can control what you're going to locate, what your primary format may be, in this case it's inches, the arrow style, the text style. So if you want to control the size of the text, you can go in and control the size of the text, the font of the text. And by changing your annotation set, you can globally change every one of the defaults listed here and be productive and get your drawings looking like you want them to, whether you're doing a framing plan or a kitchen and bath plan. Now in the plan that I have open, I have about a dozen different annotation sets that I use. And in Chief Architect Premier, the profile plan ships with 
at least a half a dozen different annotation sets and these are things that you can modify or create a copy of them, save them in that profile plan and reuse them. Now there's two in particular things that I want to take a look at in annotation sets besides the defaults which we were just looking at the example for dimensions. Let's take a look at the current CAD layer and then layer then later how the layer sets are controlled. So right now for this annotation set, the current CAD layer is called CAD Kitchen and Bath. In this annotation set, well, what does it mean to have the current CAD layer set to CAD Kitchen and Bath? Let's take a look at an example. Let's just draw a triangle in here using the line tool on the keyboard here. And just approximately, I'm going to come in here. Let's just draw it off so I can get to this. And let's suppose that we want to take this triangle and display the line length on each one of these lines. So if we open up that closed pie line, let's go ahead and select to show the length of that on the each line segment. And notice that it's in feet and inches and it's at a certain level. So a couple things. One, if you select the triangle and you look at the layer properties on that, it came in on that layer called CAD Kitchen and Bath. That's because in that default CAD layer it defined on what it was set to. Number two, the textile is set to be at a half inch textile. Okay, And if you've ever drawn something and it's on the wrong layer and the textile looks differently, that's because it's using the current information from either your annotation set or your default set to set that up. Now let's change this scenario from kitchen and bath to a plot plan or a site plan. If we zoom out and let's assume that we want to draw a site plan. And I'm still using the NKBA dimensions. And let's uh, create our uh, terrain or our plot plan and draw this out. Now since I haven't changed it, this item is still on the CAD kitchen and bath layer because I didn't change my annotation set. And if I go ahead and open this object up, and we display the length on here. When you go to print this or send this out to your layout, you're not going to be able to read the lengths for your site plan on here. And furthermore, if you change your layer set to maybe the plot plan set, let's go ahead and change that here, it's going to turn off that layer for that site plan because we drew it on underneath the CAD kitchen and bath because that's the default set on there. So in reality, let's change our layer set back to the kitchen and bath set. In reality, what I should have done, let's go ahead and delete that, is I should have changed my annotation set to maybe the plot plan annotations. And then when I draw my site plan out, it will show up on the layer that's tied to that, which would be CAD plot plan. And again, we can turn on our links in here. and the CAD plot plan, just if you want to check, is on a textile that's different than the half inch textile for the kitchen. So this is going to be a bigger font. So let's go ahead and turn that on. It's much larger. It's not a very big site plan in this case, but it's much larger text. And when you change your layer set to the plot plan set, notice that it stays on because that layer is more closely related to the plot plan set and it's most appropriate. So being able to use that and tie that into your annotation set so when you draw CAD it shows up on the right layer so you're not spending a lot of time changing things from one layer to another layer. So if I had drawn that or converted that site plan when I drew it on the CAD kitchen and bath to the CAD plot plan. That takes a while to go in, open it up, change the layer for that, and using the annotation set quickly controlled what layer that showed up on. Annotation sets can be used to also change and control your layer sets. In the plan that I've been working on, I've got a layer set of plot plan, I've got my plot plan annotations. If I change this to the NKBA annotations, it did not change that layer set. That is controlled in a setting in the annotation sets where you can change it for your active layer set. In this case for the kitchen and bath set, let's change it and choose the layer set of kitchen and bath. And also on the plot plans, let's change it. Use active layer set means don't change it, don't touch it. Let's change this to the plot plan set. Now when you change the annotation sets, let's change it to the NKBA general. When I select this, the layer set will change to the one that we've mapped there and it will set up. Now one point to share about that is let's go into our wall elevation. If I change 
the, the annotation set here to the NKBA annotations, it's going to look a lot like the plan view and it may not be the view you're after. In that case, you'd have to change your layer set back to the one you prefer. In this case, let's change it back to the section set and it will look like what I want. So there are powerful things about changing your layer sets automatically and there are side effects so be aware of those when you're using layer sets or annotation sets to change your layer sets. To summarize what we've covered in the video, defaults control the way an object initially behaves. So whether you're placing a cabinet or a window or more importantly for this video when you're doing dimensions, placing text, callouts, markers, or arrows, make sure that you're using the default initially with the right property set up. And again, in the plan we've been working on, if I'm using quarter inch scale dimensions to dimension my cabinets, it will look very bad and take a lot of time to clean that up. Make sure you're using the appropriate defaults and annotations to be able to do that. That way when you run your dimensions they look nice and clean when you set that up. Remember point B annotations control seven different types of defaults. If you take a look at that your annotation sets can control all of these things by simply changing your annotation set right here. You can copy your annotation sets, you can delete annotation sets, and if you find that you do a lot of framing or a lot of kitchen and bath work that is very specific, create a copy of it modify the information, whether it's dimension locations or the text, the way the callout works. And then when you change that annotation, it will globally change all of those settings so that when you start doing your drawing and your design work, it's very efficient and you're not changing layers, text sizes, callout sizes, arrow sizes. And the final point we talked about, annotation sets can control your layer sets. I use a lot of different layer sets to control the way my plan looks and it helps me when I send information out to my layout sheet so that I can have a kitchen and bath view, I can have a framing view, and being able to change that in your annotation set, you can set it up. It's a preference setting if you want to control the layer set to change it. If you don't want it to change your layer set, then you can just set this to be your active layer set and it will remain on whichever layer set you have set up. So that wraps up the annotation sets video. There's a couple other videos about annotation sets. The formula for productivity is to use your annotation sets, be efficient at setting up your defaults. Annotation sets can control multiple defaults and they can also set up your layer sets. It's very efficient and please watch our other videos and refer to our help files for more information. Thanks for watching.